Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Coach JC. Everyone got a round trip going good one today. FaceTime your kids. Uh, Four-year anniversary was this past Tuesday. You know, what are my thoughts? <laughs> you know, I think it's time to think about just the journey, think about the time we met, think about the time we, you know, spend time together, uh, the process of us getting together, being married, having our, our first child together. Uh, we have our first child. Um, it was, it's been very fun and very up and down, just a wavelength of our, just our relationship goals with family, with ourselves, with each other, with uh, family members, community, whether people from the church, whether it's people from our local networks. Um, like a lot of people have been, you know, praying for us. A lot of people have been wishing the best for us. And I do appreciate everybody that has supported to us, you know, because like I said before, you know, marriage is not easy. Marriage is not something you can just get up one day, get married and you kind of leave or, you know, marriage is not something you can just scratch off. I mean, it definitely takes time, definitely takes work. Definitely takes collaboration on both ends. Um, definitely takes give and take, you know, definitely takes uh, you not seeing yourself your way it definitely takes you know, understanding, definitely takes, you know, situations where you're not going to be right, you know, and it has to be a happy, me- happy medium. So that's the one thing that you, you know, I'm learning from my marriage each and every day and have a wonderful supportive, supportive wife, you know, definitely excellent mom, you know, definitely excellent wife. You know, everything that the house needs, she, she's there for it. Her energy, her affectionate. <clears throat> to all the people, you know, people she don't know, she's very friendly towards other people. Um, the way she volunteers, the way she really loves people. She go out her way to make everybody happy. And yeah, you know, I appreciate everything she, she does each and every day. And I definitely appreciate what she does on the mental Mental aspect, you know, getting up, doing what she has to do, despite everything that's, that happened to her, you know, or having to her, happen to us, you know. So I do give her the props, you know. And I would never would have thought that, you know, five years ago when we met, um, you know, at the Waffle House, <laughs> that I'd be like, oh, this is my wife, and we'll be, you know, where we're at. Well, where, where, where we're at right now, and just, you know, take time to. You know, give thanks to the situation, give thanks to your spouse, you know, because like I said, I became, you know, a better, better person, a better man because of her, you know. So when I come in here and I talk and, you know, hey, this is not a guy from experience. It's not a guy who just talks about marriage, who has no experience, who's not inside the realm, you know. And like I said, you're talking to a man who... He has a lot of work to do, you know, with his marriage. I always think of ways to improve himself. I always think of ways to get better um, in all aspects. You know, I never, when people were saying, like, how would you rank yourself in different categories? I never put myself out of 10 because there's always work to be done. There's always work to be improvement at. But yeah, like I said, I appreciate my wife. I love her. I definitely, you know, love our daughter. Um, definitely love the. The uh, covenant that we that we shared with one another, the vows that we said to one another, we spoke to one another, and I just want to continue to continue to get up and continue to support one another each and every day. You know, because it definitely takes work, definitely takes time to continue to push one another to get better, and that's what it's all about. In the, the day, we talk about going going to get married, making that covenant commitment. Type person, like, I don't have those words about what she doing. I don't have worries about who I want to be with somebody else. Like, I just don't have worries, you know. I'm just very just down to earth, very just low mouth, chill. Like, you know, just feeling good, you know. Feels good. I feel like I was, I was kind of, I was in a realm before I met her, where I was just like, you know, dating, finding the people, but I just didn't really find my soulmate to. But actually to find that and to actually see the years built up, the memories that we share and the places we went to, the heart, the highs, the lows, it's truly special. And definitely just want to just take this time to appreciate my wife, you know, Hannah, Hannah Collier, you know, definitely 
blessed to be her husband and blessed to be the father of Olivia Collier as well too. But yeah, that's all I really have to say. Just really just like a reflection uh, type of video. Uh, a lot of times we don't take time to reflect on ourselves, our partner. But that's what this is all about, you know. Hopefully, you know, this time next year we're talking about, you know, five years and six years and go on. You know, hopefully it goes on for a lifetime. And that's what the goal is. That's what I'm aiming to achieve. And the only way it's going to happen is if, I can, if we continue to put the work in, sacrifice one another, love with each other, and continue to get up each and every day, you know, put the work in and stay locked in to one another. But yeah, that's all we have to say. Until next time out, this is Coach JC.